Hello and welcome to this new edition of a BTI Connect. And uh, tonight we have a very special guest here. And I'm sure if you are the next student, you will be glad to hear a very familiar voice to you. In fact, we have, we have here with us Filida. Hello, Filida. Hello, Samuel. So is, uh, thank you for being here with us. And uh, for, how, for what I understand, you are here at the BTI serving God since quite a few years. Is that right? How many years? I came in 1982, in the month of May, so it's shortly going to be 32 years. And I'd like to greet all the students that have come through IBTI in these many intervening years. Uh, I hope my voice will be familiar to some of you. I'm sure it will be. So 32 years is quite a lot of years, Filida. Why is that? What, where where is, does the strength come from, really, to do all of this? Why you're here and why... Uh, really, uh, you enjoy what you do, really. Why is that? Well, I think it's being surrounded by young people who are on fire for God. Every year, the Lord sends us a lovely new batch of young people, and their enthusiasm and just zeal for the Lord keeps me young. I originally came to help John Muldrian with his work on missions, as some of you will know. But in the past 15 years or so, I've been doing uh, the administrative side of, of the IBTI work. I tend to stay here and not to travel, but it's lovely to be in contact with all these people who go off on mission and come back and see us again. You students who've travelled around the world and um, pop in from time to time. You're always welcome. We love to see you. Fantastic. 32 years is really a long time. So how has IBTI changed throughout all these years? What can you remember? What can you tell us? Oh, that's a very big question. There have obviously been massive changes over that period of time. Um, the main thing I would say is that we are now very European and not so international as we used to be. We can no longer take the visa students from Africa and Asia. And uh, it seems that God's doing something special in Italy because we have many, many students from Italy who are a great blessing, but we do miss the, the multiracial uh, nature of the student body. Naturally, the staff have changed. The old guard have all moved on, and we miss them a great deal, but the Lord has brought in um, a wonderful bunch of people to lead the work here now. Our visiting tutors, many of them have changed. We do have one who's been coming for nearly 40 years, and that's John Cuthbert, who was with us again last week. Many of you listening to this will remember him, and he still teaches on cults and heresies. Apart from him, many of our teachers are much younger now, and some of our subjects have changed. But the ethos of IBTI continues the same, to prepare people for Christian ministry to teach them that life is not easy in ministry and mission. They still learn to do all the menial tasks that the original students had to do, the cleaning, the looking after the grounds, kitchen duty, washing up. Those things haven't changed. I think the menu has improved. We have a very steady cook, uh, Gaston from Spain, who we all value greatly. Um, yes, IBTI is a good place still to be. Fantastic. One last question. If uh, today uh, you uh, really you think about praying for the future of the BTI, what would be your prayer, your, uh, uh, your wish, your request to God when you think about a BTI today and what a BTI can be tomorrow? What would be your prayer? Well, I would want the ethos to remain the same, the core values. Um, we hope very much to have a brand new building because we do need good accommodation for our students. You know our old Annex 1, the original Annex, is long past need for replacing. And so our prayer is that this new building will materialise in the next year or two to be completed and that our future students will be well catered for in that respect. But we just pray that the Lord will continue to send those that he's calling and that we will be here to prepare them in the best way possible for their ministry back in their own country or wherever around the world the Lord calls them. 
Fantastic. Thank you, Filida, for being with us and for answering, for answering the, our questions so patiently. And uh, we really wish all the best. And uh, um, I personally would like to thank you for your fantastic job here at the college. I came here as a student and uh, I meet you uh, for the first time. And I remember that the first thing that I, I, I thought when I saw you was joy because you were, I remember you were uh, singing around and uh, with a smile on your face. So thank you again for being with us and God bless you, Filida. Thank you, Samuel, and God bless you and all of you listening. So a quick and final update about something that has taken place this past Saturday here at the ABTI. All the students and the staff, we have organized a fundraising event in the nearby church here, MSCC, and uh, about 60 people have come to the event and we have prepared for them a hot meal and there was some live music and drama and other fun stuff and actually they've paid the entrance and thanks to this event we were able to raise about 800 pounds which will go towards the new building project. So if you are hearing us and if you have come to this uh, fundraising event we would really would like to thank you and to thank you for your contribution and uh, to keep us uh, in uh, your heart in your prayer. And uh, we would like really to invite all of you there to keep on praying for this new building as really the time is coming close where we are actually uh, starting the second phase. So please support us in prayer. So thank you very much for listening to us again this week and we will uh, come to you again next week.